Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Subscribe if you like and hit the like button if you like. And God bless you and you are a blessing. Well, something about Democrats are panicking. On Tuesday, the City Council of Washington, District of Columbia, voted 12 to 1 to move forward with legislation that would make it possible for non-citizen residents to vote in the next municipal elections. The law will proceed to a final vote soon, after which it will be delivered to Mayor Merle Browser for signature. Our immigrants, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> our immigrant neighbors, regardless of their legal standing, engage, contribute, and care about our community here in our city. According to The Hill, D.C. Council Member Charles Allen stated during the Tuesday legislative meeting that they along with all other residents of the District of Columbia, deserve the right to have their say in their government. Now, does that mean that it's the immigrants that are legalized now? <coughs> Excuse me. Legalized now in the USA, in the United States of America, is that what they're getting at? Now let's keep reading and see what it is because it said deserves the right to have a say in their government. So that would mean they would have to be legalized. They settled down here because productive members of their community and raised their families. Okay, that answered my question. They belong to the United States now. They are legal. They manage companies on which people rely. Now, wait a minute. i got to take a break here just for a second because thought just crossed my mind. Now, this was posted about two, three days ago. So, does that mean that they haven't been able to vote even though they were legally in the United States of America maybe four, eight years ago, 12 years ago? Why are they just now getting to the point to where they can vote. They should have been able to vote the minute that they were legalized to be here in the United States of America. Don't you think? Am I wrong here? Okay, let's go on. They manage companies on which people rely they pay taxes over which we make decisions over how to spend the money, yet they are unable to elect local leaders who have controlled over the decisions that affect their bodies, their businesses, and the money that they pay in taxes. Allen continued. Uh, well, it seems to me this should have happened a long time ago, the minute they were legalized to become a member of the United States of America. Citizen. Oh, well, <clears throat> in the event that the measure is passed into law, residents of the District of Columbia who are not citizens would be granted the right to vote in local elections for positions such as a mayor, attorney general, members of the school board. Yeah, okay. The fact that the residency requires for non-citizens was only 30 days was a significant factor that contributed to the council member, Mary Shees, C-H-E-H apostrophe S, Shies or Shees, decision to vote against the bill. Now, why would she vote against the bill? Now, for non-citizens, uh, like the immigrants that have just now entered our country, if they are not legalized, which the ones that just got here aren't, because it takes them a while to get their uh, citizenship, get legal. 
So Mary, she must have been against the ones that were not citizens. The development of the bill comes at a time when Washington is dealing with an increasing number of migrants who are being bused into the area from Texas and Arizona. According to a statement released by his office last week, Republican Texas Governor Greg Abbott has transported more than 8,100 migrants to the nation's capital since the beginning of the previous week. KTVK TV, and that's KTVK hyphen TV, reports that over the course of the past four months, the state of Arizona has allegedly moved approximately 2,000 migrants to the state of Washington. It was revealed that each trip cost a total of 82146 for each busload. Wow. Whew. The non-citizen voting measure that was re recently introduced in the District of Columbia comes at a time when an increasing number of localities around the United States are looking to add non-citizens to their list of registered voters. Now that, no. If they are not registered as a citizen of the United States, they should not be allowed to vote. My thoughts? Give me your thoughts in a comment. That may seem harsh, but it seems only right that they should be registered uh, a citizen of the United States before they're allowed to vote for the United States. Let me know. I could be wrong. The non-citizen voting measure was recently introduced in the District of Columbia comes at a time when an increasing number of localities around the United States are looking to add non-citizens to the list of registered voters. To this point, initiatives that are comparable have been met with vigorous legal oppositions in courts. Well, I can understand it. Leave me a comment. How do you feel? I mean, these immigrants just over the past two years since the border was opened probably haven't had the money or the time to even become a citizen yet to vote. Uh, a decision made in August invalidated a city ordinance in San Francisco that let non-citizens to vote in elections for seats on the school board. Well, now that, because their children, they have to put them in school. So that is a little bit I can agree with. According to early reporting by the Daily Wire, it was given the go-ahead in 2016. Since that long ago? Well, they must have been made citizens then by then. The children were in school. So yes, but it says here not let non-citizens to vote in elections for seat on the school board if they were not a citizen of the United States. Okay. Oh boy. Several organizations, including the United States Justice Foundation and the California po uh, Public Policy Foundation, contested the constituality of the statute. Plaintiffs asserted that California requires voters to be U.S. citizens. I agree with that, because assessing voter qualifications is a topic of statewide significance and where state law has precedence over conflicting charter city regulations, this duty extends to every election held in the state, even those administered by charter cities. A measure with the same intention was proposed in New York City and it would have allowed up to 800,000 non-citizens to vote in city elections. Mm. In June, the state's highest court ruled that the law was uncon unconstitutional and invalidated it. But they should have been a citizen. 800,000 non-citizens? 
they should have already got their citizenship. But in June, the state's highest court ruled that the law was unconstitutional and invalidated it. You've got to be a citizen of the United States of America. Whatever country that you come from, you need to be legalized entering the United States of America. I thought that, I thought that was a law. I'm old. I think there's a lot I missed out on. In his decision, <laughs> Justice will excuse you. Did you sneeze? <laughs> My little Yorkie just sneezed. <laughs> I bet you heard that. <laughs> In his decision, Justice Ralph Porzio, Porzio, P O R Z I O, noted that the New York State Constitution plainly say, says that citizens who meet the age and residency criteria are entitled to register and vote in elections. There's the age and how long they've lived. Well then, if they are of age and they have been here a long time, why aren't they as a legal citizen then? Oh well, that's my question. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. This was an ex, expert or excerpt E-X-C-E-R-P-T this, this was an excerpt from the Constitution of the state of New York. The, the city of New York does not have the legislative capacity to enact conflicting laws that authorize non-citizens to vote and to go beyond the jurisdiction given to it by the New York State Constitution. The proceeding is a summary of an article that originally appeared on Daily Wire. Leave me a thought. Leave me a comment. You know, I always thought if you come to this country, the first thing you should do is become a citizen of the United States of America. But evidently, there's been a bunch come in this country that isn't even close to legalization. Or is that just my whippy head here? <laughs> I just, I have to agree they need to be a citizen before they can vote. Now, when it comes to the school districts, that's a different story because if they come with children, the law is those children must go to school unless they're home teaching them. But in order for them to get enrolled in school, doesn't that ask if they're a citizen of the United States of America? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I'm missing out on some legal, le legal catalities here. I probably am. Yeah, I probably am. Well, that's it for now, and I'll be back. God bless you, and you are a blessing. Be back in a bit. <laughs>